Welcome back friends to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to stream real-time tweets from the Twitter API. We'll see how to get the tweets that contain some specific keywords or obtain real-time tweets that are sent out from some user accounts. So let's get to it. Similar to the first part of this series, I've copied some codes over here. So I can first read the API keys from a config file and then authenticate my app to the Twitter API. So now that this is done, I can use the stream class of TweetPy library to read the tweets in real time from Twitter. To do that, first I need to make a subclass of the stream class from TweetPy library. And every time a new tweet is received, the unstatus method of this class will be activated. So I write def un status and pass over here self as well as status which is the tweet so what i can do at the beginning i can just print the tweets status.text actually let's also put the user user dot screen name and status.text so this way we see which user tweeted every tweet now I make stream to it object from listener and pass over here my keys. So API key secret and my access tokens. So now the first approach that I want to read the tweet is when a tweet matches some keywords. So what I'll do, I want to do a stream by keywords. First, I can make a list of the keywords that I want to consider. So for example, let's put 2022 over here and we can also put a hashtag, for example, hashtag Python. And then we can use the filter method over here, pass to track our keywords now if I run this Python file we should see in real time tweets that match our keywords and you see it's a lot of tweets so what we can do instead of just printing the data maybe we want to save it into a data frame so we can do our analysis later on in these tweets to save the tweets into a data frame, I'll add a list into my listener class as well as a limit attribute to define how many tweets I want to receive. Let's set this equal to 100. Then what I'll do is every time we receive a new tweet, we append it to our tweets list. And then I just comment over here then we should also stop receiving the tweets when we have a hundred tweets so what we can do we can do, uh, write if the length of self that tweets is equal to self that limit we call the disconnect method so this way we will stop after receiving our limited amount of tweets then in the end, I create our data frame. So I set the columns equal to the user that sent the tweet as well as the tweet. And data is just empty list for each tweet in stream tweet dot tweets. I append to my data list tweet that user that screen name as well as tweet that text. So now if in the, uh, I make the data frame using the pandas. Past data and columns over here, columns equal to columns. 
And now in the end, I just print the data frame. This is pandas. Sorry. Okay, so now if we run the code, we should receive 100 tweets and then the program stops. Now this is working, but there is a small problem over here that the tweets are truncated if they are above 140 characters. So we need to somehow receive full tweets. To get the full tweets when we are creating our data frame, instead of using the tweet.text attribute every time, we need to first check the truncated attribute to see if a tweet is truncated or not. If it's not truncated, which we can just obtain if not tweet.truncated. So this means a tweet is not truncated, so we can easily read the tweet.txt. However, if it is truncated, we need to modify the code. When a tweet is truncated, there is an attribute which is called extended tweet. And then over here, we can read the full text. So this way we can avoid reading truncated tweets. And now everything is working. So now we know how to stream real-time tweets based on keywords or hashtags. Next, we'll get the tweets in real-time from some specific accounts. To listen to some accounts and get their tweets in real time, what I'll do first, I'll comment these two lines. So now what we want to do, we want to stream by users. So the first thing is we need to specify a list of the users that we want to listen to. So the first one I just set myself and then whoever we want to, we can just put over here then we need to get the IDs of these users. So first I make a user IDs as an empty list. Then for every user in users, I append to my list using API get user and pass over here as a screen name, my user. And then in order to get the ID, I use the ID attribute. So now if I just print user IDs, we should receive the IDs of the users, which are over here. So now we can just use stream tweets dot filter and then follow our user IDs. I will also put the limit equal to one. So when there is just one tweet, we will stop listening to real time streams. So this way, if I just send one tweet, we can see the results over here. Now we, I run this code and nothing will show up over here because still we didn't get any tweet. So if I go to my Twitter account, so here is my Twitter account. And if I just send a tweet, for example, what's up? What should happen? We should now see the tweet over here. And here it is. The tweet sent out by me and the tweet itself is over here. So that's how we can follow some users and receive their tweets in real time. I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question or comments, please put it down below. I'll try to answer your comments as much as I can. And as always, thanks for watching.